Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Ed, and I will teach you aviation English for mechanics. So if you are an aviation mechanic, you are in your way to become a mechanic, or you want to improve your English, this channel is for you. Today I'm going to talk about maintenance manuals and related documents. But first, I want to thank everyone who is watching these videos. Thanks to everyone watching from Bolivia, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, Spain, United States and Venezuela. In aviation, we have many manuals for reference and each one has its own use and purpose. In this video, I will talk about the manuals we use in aviation. First, we have the Aircraft Maintenance Manual and it provides detailed technical information including system description and operation. This is one of our most used manuals. We refer to this before we proceed further with the maintenance of the aircraft and its systems. Some manufacturers have an aircraft maintenance manual addenda, which is just an addition or supplement for the aircraft maintenance manual. And this is because when they started to produce the aircraft, they published the aircraft maintenance manual. And at some point, the design changed, and it was easier for them just to publish a supplement instead of changing the entire aircraft maintenance manual. Component Maintenance Manual In this manual, we have the maintenance manuals of some of the components installed in the aircraft, and it includes description, operation, and physical details. APO Supplement First, APO stands for Auxiliary Power Unit, and which, as indicated by its name, this is an auxiliary source of pneumatic and electrical power for the aircraft systems in the ground and even in flight. So this document basically is the APU maintenance manual. Then we have the standard practices. This section is in the chapter 20 of the aircraft maintenance manual. Power plant build manual. This is the maintenance manual of the engine. Aircraft flexible maintenance schedule. In this document, we have the maintenance program to keep the aircraft worthy. Overhaul manual. In this manual, we have procedures to perform the major repair of the aircraft or its components. Structural repair manual. This manual describes in detail the specific repairs that are approved for an aircraft structure. Illustrated parts catalog. This contains the illustrations, part numbers, and other relevant data and describes in comprehensible detail every component. Wiring Parts Catalog This book is similar than the Illustrated Parts Catalog. Here we can see part numbers of electrical components but in wiring diagram form. Wiring Diagram Manual This document includes the wiring diagrams of the electrical part of the aircraft systems. Customer Placard Supplement in this document, we can see the signs, advertisements, and labels that the aircraft need to have. For example, labels for hot surface, down step, and that kind of thing. Illustrated Tools and Equipment Manual, or Equipment List. In this document, we have the tools and equipment that we need to perform maintenance. Corrosion Control Manual. This book includes procedures for corrosion treatment and control. Ground Handling Checklist. This book includes information for ground handling services. Non-Destructive Testing Manual. This manual contains procedures for the non-destructive test for destructors and components of the aircraft. A non-destructive test is a way of performing inspection and is the only way to discover defects in wheels and structures, to mention just a few examples. Reduced Vertical Separation Minimum Manual This manual includes the RVSM maintenance program and the list of required equipment. As you know, the RVSM is the reduction from 2,000 to 1,000 feet of the standard vertical separation required between aircraft flying from 29,000 to 41,000 feet. And from the maintenance point of view, RVSM implies the error reduction the altimeters can have because they must be as accurate as possible. Instructions for continued airworthiness and airworthiness limitations document. This includes written instructions, specified requirements, procedures and standards to keep the aircraft airworthy. Minimum equipment list. This document is a list which provides specified conditions for the operation of aircraft with equipment in operative. Fault isolation manual. 
This book includes the procedures and references to do a troubleshooting. Technician's Pocket Guide. This book has the system's schematic diagrams for a quick reference. Service Information Letter. This document has information, recommendations, and general service instructions and is sent to the owner, operator, and maintenance personnel. Service Bulletin. This is a notice to aircraft operators from the aircraft manufacturer, notifying them of a product improvement. Airworthiness Directive. This is issued when the FAA, Federal Aviation Administration, finds an unsafe condition in an aircraft or part of an aircraft. Often, the manufacturers classify and organize the manuals in categories like this, maintenance, parts, wiring, and miscellaneous. Maintenance category includes aircraft maintenance manuals, instructions for continued airworthiness, airworthiness limitations, aircraft flexible maintenance schedule, overhaul manual, structural repair manual, and fault isolation manual. Parts category includes illustrated parts catalog, customer placard supplement, APU illustrated parts catalog, and illustrated tools and equipment manual. Wiring category includes wiring diagram manual and wiring parts catalog. Miscellaneous category includes corrosion control manual, ground handling checklist, non-destructive testing manual, power plant build manual, reduced vertical separation minimum manual, and minimum equipment list. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope this information can be useful to you. Let me know in the comments if you use other manuals and documents for your maintenance job. And as I said before, learning comes with repetition. So remember watching this video many times to learn the vocabulary here. Please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. I want to help more people like you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn aviation English for mechanics. I will see you soon. Bye.